Harpers, I'm Tiffany from Tiffany Schaefer Harp and Song and welcome to Tune Tutor. Today I'm going to teach you a traditional Scottish tune called Leaving Lismore. This is a great little arrangement if you want to exercise that fourth finger that we all like to pretend isn't there sometimes. Quick side note before we get started, if you still want to be a part of our virtual harp ensemble, there's still time. We're going to leave submissions open all summer. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check this video whatever side it's on, I always forget, or check the links in the description and it'll tell you all about it. Let's get into the key of D, F, and C sharps, and I'm going to play Leaving Lismore, my arrangement, which you can learn on patreon.com slash Tiffany Harpist if you want a tutorial, and then I'm going to teach you the melody step by step. the first phrase. Uh, we're going to play most of the strings within this D fifth here. The only one we're going to skip is the G. So you can stack fingers 4, 3, 2, 1 on D, E, F sharp, skip G, and your thumb's going to be on A. That's our first shape. So just get used to that. We're going to go from the bottom to the top. And that low note lowest note is going to last a little bit longer than the others. Our next shape is going to be, you can try it two ways. These three fingers here, where your thumb is on D, the higher D, you're going to skip the C and place the next two fingers down B and A. Now if it's comfortable, you can also place your fourth finger on that lower F. So the shape you have, notice, is two strings in the middle, two blank strings that we're not playing, and then two strings on the outside. Try playing them all at once to get used to it. Our next phrase just sounds like this. So that was all four fingers down. One, two, three, and then before you play four, this is an overlapping bracket. Put your thumb back on A. One more time. Long, long, short, long, long. Let's put those two phrases together. Next phrase. 
phrase is exactly the same as the first. You already know it. Now, our next one. Let me give you a couple of choices of fingering here. First of all, definitely put your second finger on A and your thumb on B. If you would like, you could come down here, back to A, and then put your thumb on F and your second finger on E. Also, you can try it this way. Two, one, two, three, four. Now, the way you want to finger this, you don't want to place, if you're going to do it that way, you don't want to place all of these to begin with because they're just going to get in your way and stretch out your hand. So just start with these two, the A and the B. And then before you play that A the second time, you can bring your third finger to the F and slowly your fourth finger to the E. All right, let's play all four of those phrases together from the beginning. Our first phrase is D, E, F, skip G. One, two, three, one, two, three. Now you'll be glad to know the next phrase is the same as the very beginning, again. Right up to here. Even that's the same. So you can think of that as one long phrase. Now we only have one little bit to learn and that's the end of this phrase for the A part. So let's go ahead and put our three fingers back, kind of where they were for that other phrase in the beginning, where we were going down. This time we're going to go up. So the third finger's on A, second is on B, skip C again. We're going to go bottom to top now. Now before you play the thumb, another overlapping bracket here, we're going to put our second finger on the F. And just climb down. F, E, D. Here's that phrase again, starting on this same shape. Now if you wanted, you could put a little ornament here if you're up for that. And that would be before you place this fourth finger and before you play the third finger on E. Put your thumb back on F and then do a quick extra F E D. And that sounds like this. Let's play the whole A part. One, two, three. One, two, three. Great. Here's the first phrase of the B part. So let's try just that much. We have a D with our thumb. Switching back and forth from the C to the D. Now make sure that before you play the C, your thumb is back on D because you're going to play it again. Play that B with your third finger or your second finger. Let's do our second finger for now. 
It's a little like Carol the Bells. Okay. Now we're going to come back to the D again and do that very familiar phrase which we've done in the beginning. It's that same shape of two strings in, in the middle and then these two blank strings and then two strings played on the outside. Remember you've had that before. Let's put those two phrases together starting on D and C. Now we're going to play that same first phrase again. And add a slightly different one. So again, here's that same repeated phrase with a different ending. Let's come down here and take the D and the uh, D with the thumb and B with the second finger. And before you play that B, go ahead and bring your thumb to the A. So let's practice just that. Just that motion. It's sort of like your second finger propels your thumb onto that A. It carries it over. And then we're free to use these three fingers. Here's another shape again where you have two strings, skip a string, and a string on top. So A, F, E. All together, that sounds like this. So I just think that's easier than trying to do maybe coming all the way over with your thumb after your fourth finger, but you do what works for you, try it out. All right, now the end of the B phrase, it just has the same that we already started with in the very beginning of the song. Here's that shape again. Same as before. However you want to do that ornament or not. So let's play the whole B part so we have it all together. One, two, three. One, two, three. Same shape. Here's where we move the thumb to A. Same as beginning. If you'd like a step-by-step -step guide just like this on learning some easy left hand, there is a link down below in the description for you um, to find that on Patreon. We'd love to see you there. Thank you so much for learning this tune with me. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment and let me know what tune you think we should learn next. More tutorials like this one are right here. If you want to have all the left hand lessons at your disposal, click that Patreon logo up there. And if you want to subscribe so you don't miss next week's video, click my face. I'll see you next week. Bye!